2006. Started building this on a part-time basis. This is a plan B. Who needs a plan B? In 14 months, I was blessed to reach one of the top positions in the company as senior vice president. After 18 months, I was able to fire my boss. How many would you love to go fire your boss? <laughs> Wouldn't this just be a great feeling? You just go in there tomorrow and say, I'm out of here. <laughs> At 22 months, she was able to fire her boss. We actually made our first million dollars in this deal in 22 months. We went on from there to make millions of dollars. I wrote a book called From the Bus to the Bentley. She wrote a book called Faith Focus Action. Okay, we was blessed to help six people become multimillionaires, and over 67 people become hundred thousandaires with this deal. And only one had experience in the industry. I think that deserves a round of applause. Especially for, from a guy that never been to college a day in my life. Now I do got a PhD, public high school diploma. <laughs> Common sense, right? But we know common sense ain't common, yes? So if you're a guest, here's what I want you to do. I want you to relax. I want you to look at this with an open mind and if it makes sense. I want you to consider joining our team. We're not looking for everybody, we're looking for somebody. We just have to invite everybody to find that somebody. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let's jump right into this. Now, here's the deal. When you get started with this opportunity, First of all, this is a plan B, it's just another bucket. Now, how many people know that in 2014, everybody need a plan B, yes or yes? Yeah. Okay, it's just another bucket. Now, when you get started, everybody get a professional, professional website. So what I like about this, you don't have to start any project. There's no building, there's no quotas, our corporate uh, office handle everything. Does that make sense? Yeah. So basically what I do, is it uh, Brandon, Brandon? Brendan, Brendan, what I do basically is I send people to my website, and when they order a product and service from me, and they pay the bill, of course, I get paid. Every month that they pay the bill, does that make sense? The third thing I like about this deal is that you don't need to have any experience. We have the blueprint. Today, I've been, I have over 75,000 people in my organization. All I did, Linda, was duplicate myself. Does that make sense? Okay. If you can do a thing, you can teach a thing, yes? yes? Let me show you how this works. Here's the blueprint. Let's just say, Linda, you were my sister, okay? And I introduced you to five I called you up and said, Linda, listen, you know, I got my hands on something I'm really excited about. I want to get your opinion on what I'm doing. You said, what is it? So I show you the deal. You say, you know what, Stan? I was looking for a, a plan B. I'm interested. I want to join. So let's say you guys started. Just use you for example. Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> show you how simple this is. Now, basically what I'm going to do, then I'm going to work with you to get 10 customer points. And basically what a customer point is, it's a service. It's not a human being. Each one of those services, products and services that Sharice talked about, has a point value. Okay? Like my cell phone was a point. My internet was a point. Long story short, Sharice and I with 11 points in our own household. So basically, Linda, what I did was I changed over everything in my household that wasn't paying me. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, I get paid off that bill. I've been getting paid off of this uh, phone here. Let me show you. Who remember the razor jones that used to carry by me? Yeah. Who remember the razor phone? Yeah. Yeah. She said she don't remember the razor phone. She, she, she was just born with black and we disappeared. But anyway. I started out with a razor phone when I started to buy You know? Today, I got an iPhone. So I've been getting paid off this service through Verizon for eight years. Is that power? Yeah. Okay? So long story short, and I get paid off for every bill in my household, which was 11 customer points. And then, guess what? I also write it off because this is a home-based business. And there's huge tax advantages. Does that make sense? So what we do, then I'll teach you how to get 10 customer points from yourself. Question, if you got started, can you convince yourself to save some money? <laughs> yes or no? Yeah, that makes sense. If I'm gonna do the business, yes. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to introduce two people to this deal. Notice I said introduce and not convince. I'm not here to convince people to do this. 
This is not for everybody. We're just looking for people that's looking for an opportunity. Does that make sense? So let's just say, Linda, you introduce two people to this deal. So let's just say you introduce Sandy, yes? Sandy and, and Brendan. Brendan to five. Okay? Let's just say this is your cousin or whoever, and you share the opportunity with them. Well, you're just getting started, so let's just say you call Sandy up and say, Sandy, listen, I got my hands on something huge. I want to get your opinion on what I'm doing. So she says, what is it? Say, hold on, I'm going to get you in front of Stan Richards. He's the expert. So you get me in front of these two people, yes? And they, see, they come and find out they're looking for an opportunity. So let's say they get started, okay? Now, get this. Over the first 30 days, you go out and get 10 customer points for yourself, yes? You introduce two people to this deal. How many people know two people in your life right now who are working on the pain? Get them way up. <laughs> How about two people that might be looking for an opportunity? Way up How about two people that need an opportunity? <laughs> Linda, what's so powerful about the deal? People are looking for opportunity. You don't have to convince people to do filing. I didn't stop driving the metro bus. I started to share the opportunity as I was going about my life. Does that make sense? So let's say you introduce these two people to five things. They get started. They see an opportunity for themselves. The company's going to cut your check for 500 bucks. Real simple. That 500 bucks is going to recoup your initial uh, investment, so you get a return on investment in the first 30 days, and you become profitable. Now, Linda, let's just say if you're like me, and you really try to get off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> let's say over the first 30 days, you go out and get 20 customer points, right? And you introduce the same two people, they're going to pay you $1,000. Let's get a couple of dollars for <laughs> Okay? Here's what excites me about this deal. Then my first check was my belief check. So my thinking was, well, my good PhD. <laughs> Anybody go to DC public school? <laughs> In case you go to DC public school. Not a common sense. My thinking was, if I do more, they'll pay me more. Does that make sense? Okay? The company wants you to get paid immediately. Anybody here own a business? By industry standards, it takes about three to five years just to become profitable. Okay? So we want you to be, become profitable in the first 30 days. Now, here's the deal. We, you weren't invited to this meeting, guys, to talk about $1,000. That's just a quick start bonus. Let's go to the next slide. Now, let's talk about, Linda, building your business. Now, here's the tra traditional way. When I was born, I was taught three things. Go to school, yes? Get your education, go to college, okay? And get you a good government job. <laughs> Who was taught like that back in the set? <laughs> okay? Somebody said they were born in the night. <laughs> about the 70s and the 60s. <laughs> That's who I represent in the blue collar workers. So Linda, for me, we were all taught like this. Yes or yes, here's the bottom line. So for me, I didn't go to college. I never considered college. I went to high school. And if you dropped out, if you didn't go to college, okay, there was three jobs that if you didn't go to college, it was either you drove buses, you went on a police department, or worked at the post office, or you were a fireman. Yes or yes? Yeah. So bottom line, I was a blue collar worker, yes? yes? Okay, this is where I started. Now, after driving Metro buses for 14 years and not hitting anybody, I was promoted. <laughs> <laughs> I was promoted. After 14 years, I didn't hit nobody. I was promoted to a supervisor. Y'all see the supervisors riding around in those Jeeps? I got a white shirt and a, and a set of keys. <laughs> True story. And my job was to chase buses and make sure that they run on time. That was my description. And if they go, if they leave anybody, you write them up. Okay. Now, the bottom line here is with my PhD, I'm not going to ever be the CEO of that company. Matter of fact, I never met the general manager of Metro, and I was there longer than him. Okay. Any blue collar workers in the house? Y'all better get them way up. Somebody get <laughs> don't, don't get out here and grave 
gonna think all you, that you don't have to put your hand up. <laughs> okay. Well, let's look at this. Let's let's consider Linda. Let's consider my wife Sharice. Now she was a corporate girl. You know, she got the degrees and all of the nine. Yes. So let's consider Sharice. She went to college. She graduated with honors. So she started around in here. Okay. Long story short, after she was laid off from corporate America, she went into federal government, and she was promoted to like. Let's say mid-level manager. She was a GS-14. Anybody work for the federal government in the room? That's a pretty good job. Yeah. That's a six-figure income right there, right? Okay. Well, after GS-14, I think the last grade is a 15, and then you have to be appointed. Here's the deal. She's never going to be the CEO of the federal government because there's only one job in this thing. Yes, or yes. 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 It's only one job. And that, right now, I don't know anybody here that want that job. <laughs> Guys, this is the old way here. Yeah. The old way of thinking. And it's not a bad deal. What I'm just telling you is that you'll never get wealthy doing it. Okay? So my thinking was, Linda, eight years ago, let me just try something else. If my way haven't been working like Mama told me, let me reprogram my thinking. So I looked at this industry, it's a $167 billion industry, and when you think about that, who wouldn't want to be a part of a $167 billion industry? Okay? So when I got started with Five Links, that was me at the, at, at the top. I started part-time with Plan B, everybody say Plan B. Plan B. And I started to build this business part-time. So in the first 30 days, I actually introduced three people to this deal. Okay, one of the, uh, uh, my first business partner was my brother who was a senior vice president of North Carolina. Okay, and over time, and after about 18 months, I built an organization of about 2,200 people in 18 months doing this part time. So th that's how I was able to retire me and my wife when we made our first million dollars. Okay, that's called leverage. Does that make sense? So you start building this business part time, and if you think about it, every billionaire does two things. They build a system, and then they build a network. Yes or yes? yes? Okay, so that's how we do in the 21st century. This is 21st century thinking here. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Now here's my UN 